Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign, which we're playing as Ziyu Dadui. So, what is this nation, and what is it doing in Colorado? Well, this is a group of Chinese communist ghouls that end up in Colorado, and we get to explore what could happen with them here, regardless. The mod we're using to get this specific nation, with a unique flag, and under Sheng Zhao Yu, is called the Red Menace. And before we do a focus, I guess I'll tell you what mods we're using. Obviously, I just said the Red Menace uh, mod, which will be in the description below. Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, Colored Events, the State Transfer Tool mod, and Player of the Peace Conferences, but the Ziyu Dadui. Who are the guardians of the Colorado Bulwark of Communism? That's a good question to ask. But, as you can see on screen of right about now, uh, I have a small little uh, poll going on my Discord server uh, regarding the selection of nations... We can choose for the month of January 2021. If you'd like to make your choice or your voice heard, please consider voting in my Discord server down below. Regardless, uh, we are going to do with Ohm's Law. We're going to do some combat language. In addition, land auction, I'm not sure yet what we're going to do. So let's just go do something easy and tried and true, such as industry planning. All right. So let us let time go on. It's 2275, and we're led by this guy. Triple X. Okay, demand tribute. The raiders who took refuge or refuge just outside our loyal, our borders have sent us a simple message: pay tribute or die. Then pay anyways. Keep us safe. Do the dogs? Oh, uh, actually, with the dog arenos. They're the. They're, oh, they're right here. Uh, oh, he's smoking. Smoking's not good for you, sir. Not that much manpower. Up to five divisions. We're gonna say no. Uh, that being said, uh, this sub mod does add in a couple of unique icons. You know, for political power, stability. Or sport. Or maybe this is Old World Blues in general. I don't, I don't really know. Because, oh well. The White Tiger of the West. Before the Great War, the Ziyu Dadui, the Liberty Brigade, were a detachment of Chinese stealth units chosen to man and defend the Zi Oji Fang Baihu facility. The White Tiger of the West, one of the bigger relay stations of the Chinese insurgents hidden near the Raymer rocket uh, silo, as well as other important installations to the People's Republic. Their arrival, merely meant to be a temporary mission, turned out to be the last addition to the White Tiger. What came with a brigade? Engineers? Uh, a few veterans from the units, veterans units from Anchorage, which kind of like you get specialized warfare immediately and warrior training, or a, de a defected scientist. Ohm's Law, uh, technically getting through research is done, but I would like the load order battle file of ZU of veterans, just because, um, oh, we got those research done. We do get another division. It's only one, I thought they said we get several unit divisions. But whatever. Cool. Alaskan veterans. And here's a template for these guys. Eight combat width. Not great. These guys are six combat width, which is even worse. And our two militia divisions are both five combat width each. Oh, man. A world of fire. Despite being at the harding beat, or the beating heart of information, time grew short. Emergency protocols were engaged from somewhere. A signal sent in panic triggered the self-destruct sequence. Oh, boy. And also, I've already begun... Oh, we don't have any factories. Okay. Uh, civilian factories would be nice, of course, but the next focus is done. Staring in the eye of death while the siren declared impending doom, Shang Xiao, Colonel Yu, only recently promoted to his rank, set out his men to prevent the destruction of the White Tiger. As he knew that time grew short, only one of the three main wings could be saved. The lower facility, even un unavailable to him as acting commander of the facility, would probably survive anyway. Where did he send his men to? Mama Dolce's food processing, not bad. Weapon fabrication of army, I like that a lot. Barracks and secondary armor. As much as I liked it, that advanced weaponry and scoped precision rifles, we need some arms workshops. So we'll get that in just a little bit. And protectors of the proletariat. And while the capitals burnt in the fires of the old world, the communists worked together as they should. Uh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Whew. I'm like, we still have zero out of th zero out of zero. Like, I thought we just got that. Travel scout kits would be nice. We've got some Zurang pistols. That is, pistols, pistols, and we'll grab some anti-tank sniper rifles. As well as some support equipment, which would be very, very nice. Very good. Very, very good. Communist industry with one of our national spirits. Less production costs, less reliability. Support robots. Ah, that actually hurts us quite a bit. But, hey, better production costs. Saving those who couldn't save themselves. With the first crisis averted, you made sure to dispatch his men once again. This time to save something even more than important than the facility, their kin. Being at the beating heart of the U.S. logistics meant that interrogation centers, internment camps, and even notorious Tibbetts prison were in reach. However, only so many people could be saved and housed at the White Tiger despite its comparably enormous size. Where did you send his men to? Their integration centers were closed, so we get some more manpower in Scottsbluff. You don't get manpower. 
but you do get manpower in that area. Some internment camps were still guarded, apparently, to get another building slot. Oh, actually, get yeah, less building slots, more manpower in that place up here. Actually, you're led by Chairman Zuhi C. Okay. <clears throat> and you lose manpower, but you lose stability and manpower, and you get a building slot and 10,000 manpower up here. Well, right now, there's only... There's really not that many people. If we could core this later on, that'd be kind of nice. I don't want to lose any stability. Manpower, I can't really afford that. Just get more building slots for now. And the Red Flood. Not the mod, but the focus. Once the fires ended and the radiation became bearable, they flooded the area. Actually, I don't even... I only looked at this area first. Does this guy have unique focus? You know he does not. Okay, I think it's just for this nation for now. Which is a Dong Shu Lu, I think? Normally, what's this name? The, it's supposed to be the normal name of this little faction we have here in our nation, so... We'll see what we can do. Uh, the Binan Suo. The Binan Suo of the refugee became home to those who were saved by the Zizu Dadui. Relatively untouched by radiation, isolated, and best of all, fitted with a radio station that still worked, however. It took the survivors years to emerge from their underground shelter. In order to survive, the brigade went on to scavenging runs, using radiation shielding of their stealth suits as an additional advantage against the dangers, dangers of emerging mutants, raiders, and capitalists. Unfortunately for them, the shielding wasn't perfect over time, and their bodies began to decay, while some of China's medicine could be used to treat their rot. A former researcher of Boulder Dome in prison due to his heritage was able to slow the process immensely and even regenerate part of their appearance. <clears throat> or their appearance. The risk of going feral sank tremendously, yet the scars never fully healed, leaving the brigade in a disfigured state to the people, however, celebrated these scars as a sign of honor and dedication to the cause and the lives of the many. Their gratitude would pay off in time, as once they left the safety of the shelter, they made amends, and they spared some of what little they had. Wow, we get quite a bit more workshops and fresh recruits. We get a whole weekly plus one manpower. Oh, I feel spoiled now. Wow, this looks not very good. <laughs> Holy cow. <clears throat> That is very weak strength. Now we can choose whatever we want. Eventually, we got to be tracking down Chairman Zhuji. Zhuji. I, I don't speak Chinese. My apologies. But maybe it's it's a worthwhile goal of learning Mandarin eventually. <clears throat> Land Doctrine. Reclaiming the facility. I like that. Aiding Binan Suo. Okay. Okay. Five of men will take the Liberator units. Regain our supplies and permanently protect the board of Binan Suo. Huh. Spreading propaganda. Not bad. Not necessarily bad. Binan Suo. So, actually, where is that stuff? Avalo, Scott's Bluff, Atwood, Raymer. Uh, where is... It's Swo? Oh, that's just the nation. That's just the nation itself. Okay. Can we actually peacefully unify with them? D redistributing the Baggers loot. Rise. Hero of the People. Which looks really awesome, actually. A Merciless Defender. Uh, I like the less consumer goods, but more resistance start gets... And that's just barely a little bit more compliance gain. Yes, it'll help you do so faster, but I don't like the extra damage of garrisons. Fleeting flesh. Halting the rot. Euthanasia. A long-term solution. A line back home. The forbidden section? Well, let's do a line back home. After decades of hardships and trials beyond human understanding, we found a radio station strong enough to actually receive messages from home. Apparently, Chairman Zhu Ji oversees our joint communities. However, we are being told to sit and wait constantly. While their soldiers follow their orders, something feels off about the supposed connection. Darn, I hope that last uh, word would have rhymed. That's okay. Uh, disable backstory decisions. We don't need to know about that for now, because, well, it is what it is. <clears throat> what do we have here, actually? I... I'll be honest, I've not even played this before, like... Oh, crap, Senator Claus announces himself. What? Oh, boy. I forgot to turn that off. Uh-oh. Luo Kyu, Gao Ting, Smooth Talker. Well, you're the first one out. Um, so, if you want to read about this, go right ahead. I for At the time of this recording, I, I forgot that apparently the devs have re-enabled from the start Senator Claus, who leads the Enclave, which actually will make for an interesting enemy later on, actually. I guess that's a, actually a really good thing for us, then. Um, just... I, I forgot that he was enabled, so... My bad! We can't, we're supposed to get robots that can't even make any. So, here it is, North Pole Enclave. This came out in Christmas time 2019. I've actually played his him twice. I'm pretty sure I went Goodwill and Cheer and Panic and Despair. So, I think... I'm pretty sure I played both. I can't exactly remember. It's been a long time since I've actually played him, so... He is there. Hello. What the... Um... I don't remember them having Santa Cruz, actually, but... Okay. Oh, to let you know, this is on historical as well. Just because I, I don't know what's going to happen. I really have no idea. I haven't tried this at all, so... We'll see what happens, you know? The Forbidden section. Oh, I like it, Forbidden. There's only one way to know for sure. The lower levels have the means to track almost any signal while they are off-limits, even to our highest-ranking officers. We need to know. However, it might be the best if we restore power first so we don't get lost. 
Ooh, power? Do we need to restore power? Reclaiming the facility? Ooh, powering up. Maybe we should do that one first then. Reclaiming the, f the facility. Our former base of operations has been practically abandoned and only been maintained should danger arise. With tensions boiling up all around us, it's time to wake up. Wake, 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 wake. All right, army logistics, artillery, fleet logistics, Lao Pang. Uh, five essentials for victory. Also, I do have a cup of Waikiki pineapple tea. Fortifications, experts, uh, let's see, the white tiger. Ooh, master impact is better. Less able to pickle power. Ooh, there's not a lot here that I really, really want. I'll be honest, man. Nothing there. Well, we'll just go to funding the army, probably. That's fine with me for now. We don't have a trade node yet, but that's okay. Maybe we can build things up a little bit faster. That'd be kind of nice, right? And, cool. Within three weeks, we'll be done. I hope we can get another research slot, but we shall see what happens. Did I say which mods we're using? Oral Blues, Radio, Red Menace, Colored Events, Stay Tensor Tool Mod, and Player of the Peace Conferences. My apologies. I can't remember things anymore, apparently. I'm getting old. I can't remember a gosh darn thing. And I'm still in my 20s. Oh no, that's not good for me then. Ooh. Hmm. Not bad. After Ohm's Law, we'll probably go with some reference manuals. That seems pretty good. And maybe some more industrial stuff. We'll do our land doctrine a little bit later once we discover what we're going to do in terms of, uh, you know, just focuses. Do we get power armor eventually? I, I think I saw something in the focus tree called Sentinel Suits. So, that'd be pretty cool. Intelligence agencies. We have the Gu Guan Bu. Guan Bu. Huh. That must mean something. That's got to mean something, right? So, let's go and... Ooh, that's not bad. I kind of like that, actually. Let's go power up first, and then we'll do the forbidden section. The sensible first step towards reactivating our base is firing up the reactor. It'll take a bit of maintenance to fix broken bulbs and cables, but after that, the corridors will be quite lit again. Yeah, restore power first so we don't get lost. So, power up, unless there's something around here. More arms and civilian workshops. Oh, back in working order. Yeah, we don't need to do too much, hopefully. Updating the system. The way of the waste. Pre <laughs> what is this? Pretending inferiority. Win without a fight. We need more caps for this. Huh. Meat is on the menu. Interesting. Well, let's do the forbidden section next. Seems like a good idea, maybe. Hopefully we don't get lost, though, since we did just power it up. Hopefully that's, it works. So, if I remember correctly from reading the Steam page for this mod, uh, like two-thirds of this are done. This sub-mod, or something like that, two, Act 1 and 2... Uh, are completed but act three or something isn't done so if you look at the bottom here actually it says temporary looking south our new china the you click so we'll see what happens we shall see what happens uh, our reference banners are nice to have fortifications if, uh, well since we're building stuff anyways we might as well right cool um construction construction basics the forbidden station cut military spending Oh, the Forbidden section is one of the lower levels locked off long ago. The way down is real with labyrinthian corridors and passages, even some traps. The security measures expected American intruders, but our keen eyes should be able to make out any traps if we can see them at all. Look at that, a cache of guns. That's not bad. We could use a few more guns, not that much more. Interesting, a room or a fully stocked server room and armory. Um, I'll be honest, why would I choose the left option with when I get basically the same and an extra research slot? Uh, thank you, thank you. I, you know, I, I asked for a fourth research slot, and we got it. Ugh. You know what? It's, it's so good to turn on lights sometimes. Opening the Meridian Gate. Here's our stability. Ooh, do we want to help them out? Ugh. Redistributing them. Uh, knowing the enemy. Knowing yourself. Let's go and get some more workshops and some more resources. How about that? While checking our supplies, we stumbled upon a cache of the most random assortment of salvage one could imagine. We will be able to use or make use of some of these components. While all this industrial kitchen equipment and construction tools will support the Binan Suo. Suo. I have no idea how to pronounce his name, but I might be saying it wrong. Hey, we've got more guns, though. I love it. Let's go ahead. We have enough army XP that I'm just going to go ahead and throw on these guys to be at least 10 combat width. Or they get close, because it's not looking good right now, now is it? Oh, no, 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 no. And we're out of guns again. But what else is new? Actually, we don't... Well, I mean, we need these, but they're not super, super important right now. And what's the next research done? A secret of languages, huh? Very good. Delightful, my friends. Uh, let's go ahead and grab... Oh, we already got this one, too. Ah, uh, crowd control. That seems pretty useful. That will be very, very useful, actually. I need to play the troll warning again sometime. I probably will play and I'm playing them eventually. Civilian workshops. The art of wool. 
Reassuring being on safety. Uh, make more stability, stuff like that. Uh, decryption, Raymer silo. 15 days, 30 days. That's a bit too much for me. How about... How about Fleeting Flush? The last few months have been costly. The rot turned many of our most distinguished officers into mindless monsters. Every one of us feels what might happen to them, or rather when it does. If we don't act now, our people will lose hope. And losing hope is a very bad thing. Actually, are we getting more army XP right now? Oh, we are. We have great full reinforcements. We need to keep checking out our national spirits, too. So we have the communist industry, which we looked at earlier. Not bad. We can't make any robots right now, but whatever. We have great full reinforcements from daily army XP, but slightly more training time, which is fine. We have wasting away, which hurts our attack and defense and organization. Oh, that hurts. And then we have fresh recruits. Oh, I love the extra manpower. Plus a whole one every week. Oh, please. You're too generous, game. You're too generous, developers. And the facility. Oh, we actually get 10% more construction speed. Delightful. Just like my tea here. Mm. It's black tea, too. Black tea. Halting the rot. Euthanasia. You do get more attack or less... Uh, ooh, rot? Oh, euthanasia. A long-term solution and then introduction into the worker's front. More output or more population. Or studying our condition. Well, what if we did... I'm not really sure what we want to do. Art of War? Well, let's do the Art of War. Why not? Triple X. X, X, X. This is not, not safe for work. This is completely safe for work. The fleeting flush. Ever so often, our most experienced officers go feral due to continued mental degeneration. Lately, though, their number has increased drastically. We can either deploy m Metagel, Metagel, to prolong their use in a more tactical manner or euthanize them before they lose themselves. While many officers ask for the latter, the public wouldn't be very happy about it and there still may be some hope. Distribute Metagel to keep them alive. Oh, we go. Oh, crap. We have to choose now? Oh, no. I don't want to choose now. <sighs> Halting the... Uh... Or, that's a big chunk of organization that we lose. That is a big bunch. Prolong their suffering. <sighs> Healing them. Oh, no. I don't want to make big story decisions now. Long-term solution. Does this affect this stuff? <sighs> Ooh, I don't want to hurt our organization. That is really bad. But even attack and defense, it's only 10%. What's our organization like right now? So, we've got these guys. Organization is still 45. 25% of that... It's more than 10. That's a lot. That's a lot. Mm. Oh, wait. We got more robots, too? Oh, look at that. So, you know what? I would normally want to do attack and defense, which is probably better. I want more organization this time. First of all, because it's normally what I would not choose, probably. And 25%. I think distributing Metagel to keep them alive is more important because we're trying to give them hope. I want to give them hope. So, if you like to read about this, go right ahead. But... Let's keep hope up for these Chinese communist ghouls. Which, I don't think I would have ever thought about saying that sentence before. Chinese communist ghouls? But then again, this is Old World Blues, and if we're not having fun with it, what's the point, right? Organized agriculture shall be next, my friends. Two weeks left. Post this. What are we doing next? Defense. Let's make up for the attack a little bit. 5%. It's really minus 5% attack. Defense, usually not too bad. Attack, could be a little worse. All right. And so to clear one of the rapids, good for you guys. After crowd control gear, so, okay, so seriously. Um, let's look at Doc, not cock, Doc Trin. Is, that's literally it. Um, armor. The Terracotta Army, which actually looks really cool. Sentinel Suit. What is Sentinel Suit? Uh, one, two, the terracotta arm. Oh, wait, you get two of them. Probably depends on who you choose, so... Yeah, it might actually choose. Ooh, do we want... Oh, I don't know. Do I want normal power armor? Do I want... Do we want power armor? Do we want to use robots? Hmm. Spider mines? Well... Oh, my goodness, pristine... Oh, I, I got it. Oh, we're going robots. I've already made the mine. Automation. I mean, you guys can suggest that we might use a, a few divisions of power armor as well, but... Okay, if I've... I remember seeing this so many times when I was playing Fallout 76. I don't know why, but... Okay, I've got to use these liberators. I've got to. So, this is probably light robots. <laughs> Pristine lib goes... That was terrible. Uh, scurry scavenger bots. I've got, I've got to go down that way. We've got to go the refined... Not, not refined warfare, the robotic one, though. 
Five essentials for victory, perhaps. We should do that one. Why not? Triple X! Good! Good! Very, very descriptive. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. Alright, so after this one, we got work as needed. Let's go ahead and go down and do Automated Warfare. Why not? Because that kid helps out on Vampire as well. Even though we can't really build any more robots. Whatever, whatever, you know, whatever. We need we need the two most common things in the wasteland: water and scrap metal. Go figure. I thought this was Colorado. Don't we have a river nearby? All right. Let us see. Five essentials for victory. Um, seven days. Yeah, this one's first. Yeah, let's go. Robotics. Oh, I'd keep clicking on that. Automated warfare. Not bad, not bad. Motorcycles. Sniper rifles are very nice. Doggos would be awesome as well. Anything down here? Yeah, we've got that done too. Okay. Alright, well, let's see. What else do we have here? Oh, can we do this yet? No, it's just slightly too ahead of time. Let's grab some seed selection because that's always good to grab. Ah, oh, that's very good. Five essentials for a victory. Do we go to war soon, maybe? Knowing the enemy? Knowing yourself? I kind of like that map's entrenchment. I kind of want to see what happens, but let's open the, the Meridian Gate. Well, we should have expected it. A force field reinforced blast doors keeping the section shut. We need to find a way in, though. Who needed stability, right? Alright, that's a case. I still want to make sure that these guys are actually okay, so... Uh, that's probably not ideal to do, but whatever. Go and train, we're probably going to need that, so... It is fun. Do you have any upgrades, sir? Any upgrades? Oh, rooted... Well, I guess at this point... Ooh, we're gonna go as inspirational. I'm not gonna... I'm doing that. Very good. Very nice. Crushes army. Well, they're killing each other, which is nice. Unity of Austin. Good, very good. We got a while for this stuff. It's fine, whatever. After opening Meridian Gate. Asking for promotion. Finding another way. So many plays Lanius, which I do. Tracking down Chairman Zhuji. Hmm. Well... I guess it depends on the choices we make. Let's go ahead and do the centralized economy. The last few decades, our workers were working on a need to have basis. Their versatility might have been a boon when we only needed occasional repairs, but now we need structured, planned efficiency. Which would be very, very good for us. And we should be done very soon with this one, right? No? Four days left? Oh my goodness, that takes so long. Oh, why do you pain me so much, Mod? And do we get an event, maybe? Yes? No? Maybe so? Or industrialist? Eh, I'll probably have to choose that one. Let's come over here and choose artillery. Yeah, that would not be bad. Oh, look at this. Spec Ops attack. Police chief attack and defense of territory. Voice on scouts, not bad. You do get some more money. I kind of like that. Head of the whatever. And more organization regain. Not organization, but regain. As well as reinforce rate. Not bad. Crimson Dragon sounds kind of cool. Police chief, I like. I do like this one. I could we could use more caps. Oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose. If we're using steel soldiers, robots, less defense. We already have 10% less defense. Well, so I'd love to do that one, but mm, okay. Why not? Man, that research takes a while. I'm ready to go to war. So after this, centralized economy, let's go ahead and do aiding Binan Suo. Everyone on high alert. Binan Suo has been attacked by foreign forces. This is not a drill. Deploy immediate support measures and prepare for the forceful retrieval of the people's property. I'll get decisions, huh? Working with liberators. Uh huh. 50 of our men will, will regain our supplies and permanently protect the border of Binan Suo. Or, 5 of our men will take the liberator units, regain our supplies, and permanently protect the borders of Binan Suo. Cool. Oh, wait, what happened there? Uh, something happened or auto-bypassed? I was clicking quite quickly. A long-term solution is not bad either. Boulder Dome. Five essentials to fall victory. Let's get promotion. What do we want to do next? Hero of the People seems really nice, but we'll see. How many... Uh, actually, where are you at? There you are. Well, this is the case. These... Oh, there's... Oh, can we not... Oh, we can't edit these. Oh, my goodness. The Alaskan Veterans is not bad. This is such a mishmash of soldiers that we have here. Hi, guy. Hi, gui. Hey, gui. Initiates. Woodworking. Cool. Man, I am not, I'll am i be honest. I'm not sponsored by the CCP. Nor I don't think I ever will be, but man, I heard they got a lot of money. Uh, what do we want? Transferred unrestricted control over the Liberator units. Time to take them out for a vengeful ride. Sending 
only our men. While the use of the liberators would save us much manpower, maybe we should not let Binan's will take part in our duties. I want to be out working with liberators. He transferred to unrestricted control over liberator units. Time to take them out for a eventual ride. I mean, have you got this? Oh. Well, I guess anyone only our men. While these of liberators would save as much manpower, maybe we shouldn't let Binan and Swell take part in our duties. I guess what is what is actually baggers. I want to go to war, man. What, do we got baggers over here? Putting an end to foreign transgressions. Yes, we do get eventually take them out. Having mercy on them. Mercy. Ah, uh, I don't know about mercy. Actually, is this still here? That's not good. Is there anyone else? Like, how about dogs? Weather dogs? Can we take them out? The weather dogs. Call in all council members, offering out solution. Expansion through force. Yeah, I do get to find him eventually. How about Sterling? And we'll pause it. Thank you very much. The Great Embargo. Oh, okay, cores all cores on that stuff. Bull Eater. The Thai Peats. Okay, well, so maybe eventually. So let's not do anything. Maybe it'll be in our focus to take these people out later on. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, we don't have. Oh, we can't do robots? Are you kidding me? Settler Robotics. Oh, hold on. Okay, so maybe we chose the wrong... God dang it. Well, there's no point doing this one then. Uh, let's go conventional. Well... Oh man, I made a mistake. I did not realize that we won't... We can't even research robotics. I should have realized when we were over here, I guess. Power armor, we can't really do too much with that. Electronics, robots, vehicles, power... Yeah, oh my goodness, only level one. My That's my fault, guys. I apologize. Refined warfare? Well... Asy asymmetric warfare for ghouls we're a bunch of ghouls from China here conventional I want to try maybe go with asymmetric warfare let's try that why not in a land called Colorado we don't know what's gonna happen so planes it is that's my bad my apologies guys I should have realized that beforehand oh well what is it is what it is Alright, let's go and do this a little bit ahead of time. Resistors are nice to grab, so. And the Washington Brotherhood and the cause. Hopefully the cause gets a focus tree someday. That'd be kind of fun. Can we do that yet? Nope. Where did I put my water? Oh, found it. Cool. Alright. Police Chief. Division attack on... Oh. Well, Warden's doing pretty well, I guess. What do we want here? I suppose that also means we should probably get rid of this then. That's my completely my fault. I should have realized that. Should have realized that. Oh, terrible. Redistributing the baggers' loot. It wasn't much of a fight. The baggers expected ferals and in return got overwhelmed by ghosts. We are now able to return the goods we have regained. Good. Sad good. good. Uh, barely ahead of time. Go and grab some smoke signals. Yeah, that's my bad. I mean, I should have realized this before, but it is what it is. I guess next we'll probably choose something like maybe Doc's Medical Company. Maybe. We still like to use more of this. And actually, what are we on for this? Yeah, that's good. We don't have a lot of resources, though. Hmm. My bad. Completely my bad. Go on train, anyways. We'll see what happens. <sighs> Wait. Do we get... I guess we got rid of the robots. Okay. Whatever. You know, whatever floats our boats. Whatever floats... What is this? Helping Binan Swo, while assisting Binan Swo doesn't have a direct payoff, it will reinforce the goodwill and our continuous and our mission. Dedicate computing capacity? We will regain our sent research capacity. 10% of research Here's some men, I guess. What is this? Infantry equipment? Why are these guys so... so dumb dumb? What are you doing, Chairman Zhu Zhi? They've only won three divisions. I just kind of want to kill them right now. I'll be honest. Hero of the people. A merciless defender. Well, raiding the baggers. Just as our forces approached the border, another scavenger unit was sent out. Luckily, we got rid of them quickly enough after carefully sneaking beyond their lines and into their main camp. We took what we could and returned, however, as we got back. We noticed that most of the goods would be of great use to us as well. And after all, anything useful for us would be useful for everyone. Get everything back to the people. Bolster our own defenses and stockpiles. So, here's this. Here are the hero of the people. And a merciless defender. Well, I like both, but I, I, I think I've just got to go with hero of the people. 
I like that one more. Beautiful, having returned the goods and provided a quick reaction as well as reinforcing the border has increased Binan Suo's trust in our work. Asking for promotion, though. It'll need some persuasion to gain a promotion on such short notice. Also, Chairman Zhu Ji will be suspicious if we lack a good reason to become a general. Oh, Lack a good reason. Um, five essentials. Way of the waste. It's not bad. Actually, that's pretty good. Infantry speed, more max entrenchment. Become suspicious if we lack a good reason to become a general. Well, you know what? Screw it. We're going to do it anyways. And then we'll be finding another way. We cannot trust Chairman Zhu Zhi if it is up to us to find a way around the gate. 200 years leaves the marks even on our glorious structures. Finding another way in would be nice. We currently get 1.23 political power every day. And we have Hero of the People, which is good. So if we ever conquer any place, it should not be too bad in terms of getting and putting down resistance and stuff like that. And Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're so people people. People people. Anything for research? Uh, five days, that won't be too bad. And finding another way in, hopefully. I was not gained promotion. Okay. It is a rather unusual request to become a general. However, there is no way around it, and we might be able to convince the chairman that there is a mutually beneficial ulterior mode behind it. Thankfully, we had some classified technology, which is really hard to read because it's a nice color, nice color and shade of blue, but still a little hard to read. Stability, war support, and complete trucking down Zhuji. The truth of Chairman Zhuji. Entering the final chamber reveals an enormous hall filled with server banks and technological marvels beyond our expectations. Zhifang Baihu is an advanced AI, based on schematics for some agricultural company, slumbering for centuries, at least that's what we thought. While checking the logs and looking for the source of the transmission, we found only one thing, a contingency protocol. Chairman Zhu Xi is none other than Zhifang Baihu itself. We have been so blind. Alright, does this autocomplete? Yes, it does. Or do we don't complete it? Okay. Well, we'll be taming the White Tiger. This, this is madness. It cannot be. The people have to know. They can... They will believe us one way or another. Depending on our actions, the people of Binan Suo will either listen to us or assist the White Tiger in taking in control. So, maybe instead, we should do some propaganda first then. Shang Xiao Yu has always been praised as a protector of our communist ways. Maybe we should reinforce the praise first. Ah, I love motorized life, but happy 2276, everyone. Hope you're having a tremendous year. Hope we have a good year as well. Let's start making a few of these. It's not much, but it's the best we can do. Pan Hu. Huh. Alright, that's awesome. I'm going to do it because we're starting to run out of manpower. And we're going to cut this down to you. Just in case. Just just in case. Oh, look at that. Look at that army XP. Actually, yeah, we're not going to have any more manpower after this. Um, there, there you go. No more manpower. There you go. Screw it. There you go. Um, peace conference is over. There goes Hand War Band. And now we're really out of manpower. Okay, no more divisions then. Eight clear one value refuge. Not bad. Nothing else. We get soak up what, nine every month. So propaganda. Why would they listen to us? Knowing yourself. If we know ourselves, that's good. Pretending without a fight. Honor alliance. Um, do we? Hmm. Triple X. Win without a fight. A permanent offer. Way of the way seems really, really, really good. I'm not sure which one we should do. Let me know. Should we do pretending inferiority? And we get and they get meat on the menu or win without a fight. What do you think we should do? Should we do? Pretending this one, which I love that little icon there, or one without a fight with you, probably, probably, probably just buying them off. So let me know about that. Let's go do reassuring Binan Suo's safety before we do taming the White Tiger. Binan Suo is surrounded by capitalist forces. While our police detachment and the Liberators keep its borders safe, spring a few pamphlets around unclassified details couldn't hurt. All right. Yeah, I don't want to hurt our research ability. Maybe that's not good. Umbra, cool. Us. Yeah. I love these little icons. We're already on 8%. We, I'm going to save political power and go up to two-year conscription. Well, we can't because we need to be at war. Or has to be after 2278. So, well, gosh darn. Hmm. Hmm. Decisive battle. Uh, let's do air research, maybe. Close air support. I love close air support. We don't really have the means for that right now, though. So, low dang. Well, I'll do all worth it. Because it's going to take a while, quite a while, actually, for us to do that. Like, get close air support, it's gonna be a while, so. Taming the White Tiger, I guess. Finally. Uh, cool. Challenging Le Tiger. Oh, retention goes down, that's not good. Ah, uh, we do get one more vampire every week, though. A whole one. It's great. Yeah, that support robot stuff. Well, our old schematics from before the war ensure that our products are always up to the communist standard. I love the communist standard. 
we go and grab that, that'd be great. Ten days left. So after this one, smoke signals, we should probably go ahead and do some local workspaces. That'll be very good for us. Ah, global stats. Very nice. Oh, look at that. We got some more army XP already. We get 0.15 every day because we're training. Daily experiences. Very nice. Just in case, just make these guys 20 combat with already. Oh, maybe we can't. My bad. Do we need more guns too? Uh, yes we do. We need quite a few more guns actually. But let's see what the general says. Taming the White Tiger. A benevolent emperor. Oh, challenging the tiger of... Out of all things, the chairman is an AI. Our men have informed Binan Swo's most prominent party members. Let us hope that they will listen to our protectors even under the circumstances. No matter the outcome, we will be able to use one of the latest pre-war innovations of our glorious nation, the Terracotta Army. Robotic soldiers using our inferior lighter power armor to overcome enemy forces. They will prove to be a very valuable asset. Just as we were about to prepare for our next step, the Liberators simply left. A bad sign. Binan Suo revolts. Oh, we go to war. We get Sentinel Combat Armor, vault Power Armor, Delete Liberator Template, and remove all units created from this template. <sighs> Why do you hurt us so? And actually, because we've been... Oh. What? Oh, hello. That might be a bit early. What the heck? Guys. Um. Did you just go to war with... Air what the bad words? Well, alright. I guess we guys are ready to go. They revolt. Silavi. Ooh, Chinese Power Armor. Hmm. Oh, becoming a tyrant. There we go. They defied the savior. They're protected following a soulless machine. They forfeited the right to be independent. Now we will take control and we will rule with an iron fist. Okay. Well, the lack of power. Routing the reserves. Well, eventually. While checking the Forbidden Sector's archives, we notice that within a few months of our means of energy production will not suffice. Without a quick intervention, we can only expect the worst. Ah, oh, crud. Hmm. Right now, what the heck is that? Ooh, you know what? I've already screwed up once in this campaign for land auction. Well, if you think we should use this, the Sentinels, and focus... You know, screw it. I'm just going to let you guys decide whether we should use power armor, or emphasize that, or infantry. Whether we should continue going down asymmetric warfare, or do refined warfare. I'm going to leave that one up to you guys, because I've already screwed up once. I'll leave it up to you. Refined warfare or asymmetric warfare. I don't want to do conventional warfare. That doesn't make too much sense to me for, well, for who we are right now. So, let's go and finish these finish these guys off, or at least start fighting them, and call it an episode. How about that? Uh, you guys go this way, please. That'd be good. And Avalo? That'd be nice. North, North Pole is very, very aggressive. Who knew the Enclave are so aggressive people? Alright. I'm just going to straight up annex you guys. And maybe we can do one more focus after this? Yes? No? Maybe so? Yes? 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 Put them down. Put those pieces of garbage down. Um, initiates, yeah, I guess that's what we got for now. We can't even make any infantry armor yet, can we? No, we cannot, which is quite sad. There you go, do that. You know what, do that too. Yeah, well, this is going to suck for a while. But let's do the lack of power first, and we'll do something else. Even industry, maybe? Perhaps? Routing the reserves. We now have to decide. Either our civilian or our military will have to cut their power usage for the other to keep going in relative normality. Who shall it be? Oh, crap, what the heck? Oh, cut military spending. Our people will endure. Ration energy use. We lose stability and rev oh, Or, because you can choose either one. Cut military spending. You know what? I don't want to get make any more decisions in this episode. So, I'll let you guys do it. Should we do? Ration energy use or cut military spending? Let me know in the comments below. But thank you very much for watching this episode. If you did like the video, please consider leaving a like. It does help me out. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Please vote in my poll. And I'll see you tomorrow when we have all the decisions made from... Well, a lot of them made from you guys. And we shall see what's next for us as is Chinese communist schools in Colorado. Thanks for watching. And have a great rest of your day.